Welcome back to Sailing Telfer. Here's what we get up to this week. So we've got about 200 clicks to go. Let the fun begin. All right, Taj, let's kick this engine in the guts and get her on the road. Good morning, everyone. Where we are at the moment, there is a sea lion colony about one nautic mile away. So it is hurricane season now, so we really have to keep our eye on the weather and be careful. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Darling, you think it was hot today? No, we thought it was pretty damn hot. And we even decided to come into the marina tonight so we could plug in our air conditioning. The aircon's we're... not working real great though. Okay, well we discovered that after we got here. But last night was horribly hot. Like horribly hot. I slept outside, I was on the deck. On the spinnaker bags for a little bit and then I went down the back of the boat, <laughs> got woken up by bees. Whole other story, but super hot anyway. I just saw just this person that welcomed us to Santa Rosalia. 135.2 Fahrenheit. So apparently is... it was 57 degrees Celsius today. That, that is like insane. And anyway, we thought we were melting. <laughs> but that's true. Like, that's hot. And we survived, so it says extreme danger, heat stroke imminent. Well I I was that <laughs> hot, I was pruning. You know when you stay in the water too long and you prune up? Well I had that much sweat coming out of me, I was pruning just from sweating. We we are hot. Anyway, we've come into this marina. Our aircon is working. At, I don't the, at this very right. at this very moment, it says I just googled it and it says it's 38 degrees right now. But it's seven o'clock at night, so it's cooled down a lot. That's a, that's a, that's a lie. That thing. The highest recorded. This is a good bit like Wikipedia could be like. It says the highest recorded air temperature on Earth was 56.7 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that's hot. Yeah, so that can't be right. That can't be 57. Right. We couldn't have been in the hottest. Right, the battery is really flat. This is where we are. We're in Santa Rosalia and we are at a marina. We came in here for a night and uh, we are. It's going to be night three tonight. <laughs> We're definitely leaving tomorrow. But it is so hot. We've just come out, it's about seven, and we're going to go have dinner, but it's still so hot. The sun's gone down. We are leaving the marina today. We've been here for like three nights. Because we just can't seem to leave the aircon, the aircon is on inside of the boat and it's been really nice because it has been super hot, like 40 degrees Fahrenheit, over 40 degrees Celsius. <laughs> 110 degrees Celsius. And we are leaving today. We have like seven days till we have to haul out in Port of Penasco. Anyway, we've had a nice few days here. We came in long, way longer than we expected. We were only coming in for the night, but we came in for three nights. We had a Chabasco last night, well, like a part of the remnants of one. I think it was on the opposite side of the Sea of Cortez. Um, but there were some strong winds and we were nervous because we're not tied onto the dock properly because they can't fit our size boat at the moment. So we dodgily tied on and last night was a little bit stressful. Really pick 
picked up over here. Oh, we're just a little bit nervous because we've got dock lines. Not the best. I don't know what any of our lines are the best. And we actually broke a line when we were rafted up in the night runner. So he's just a little bit nervous about holding. We were going to leave yesterday. I'm kind of glad we, we don't know whether it's better to be in here or to be in there. We were planning on leaving today. Later on today, but we'll have to see how the weather is. It is hurricane season now, so we really have to keep our eye on the weather and be careful. Yeah, pushing us off the jetty, which is a good thing. But there's waves rolling in the entry, and before the wind was on the southeast, and pushing us onto here. It's uh, getting hard to fend off the dock. We're not tied to the dock properly, we're only off this pier. Look at the waves are coming over the uh, breakboard. Get the other anchor line out of Bella's um, box and I'll just double up in the front so we don't snap. So, Lee didn't sleep much. But I think we're okay, I don't think there's any damage. And yeah, we're gonna head off today. Heading, um, we're gonna try and get to San Francisco Bay, but we're halfway there, we'll see. Anyway, I think about six days until we haul out, so we gotta get further north. It's not too hot today, so that's a good thing. And yeah, we're gonna untie the lines. I was out drinking, looking for the next thing. I couldn't really settle down. Always on the run, I didn't wanna slow down. But baby, then you came around. Yeah, you. Got a fish on. The boat is in reverse. I just doubled in weight. I just picked up a whole heap of weed. <laughs> <laughs> coming in that gap, coming down. We got two fish. We got a weed fish and a We just pulled one in. Anyway, you put the rod out. Ten minutes later, five minutes, not even. We've got another one. That is beautiful. That's just like my wife. Nice and sweet.
up uh, from Anchorage, we're like 10, you know, like miles away, maybe, a bit more, 12, but the wind has definitely dropped temperature and we've got lots of lightning. We're just hoping this isn't a Chabasco and we aren't caught in it. A couple of hours until we get to our anchorage still. We've pulled all our sails down as a precaution and we're ready if it does hit us but I don't really like the look of that lightning. What do you think, Captain? I don't know. It looks similar to last night. We've seen uh, 60 knots. We did. The, we didn't, but across the bay from us. We, uh, I think we may have, I don't know, maybe seen 30 knots or so, but yeah, YMAS and that, uh, I think they got around 60 knots, so that's not fun. No. How far are we off the anchorage? Two hours? Couple hours, it? So we're motoring, but we're going like seven and a half, nearly eight knots. We just really want to get there now. <laughs> really don't want to be out here if uh, Chabasco comes. Our anchorage is um, San Francisco Bay, and it's a pretty protected little bay, so. Once we get there, we'll be right. This is very unlike us guys, but we we had to sit down this morning. The captain could not wrap his head around what the next few days were going to entail. So we've actually made a plan. Uh, 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. on the 27th, guys, is our haul out. So we've got about 200 clicks to go. And uh, yeah, there's not a lot of time in between the next 100 miles and then it's a 100 mile passage over to Porto Pinasco. Porto Pinasco? We don't pronounce Burrito. anything correctly Burrito. here. Porto Pinasco. Yeah, so we'll leave on the 26th and uh, be there on the 27th and uh, let the fun begin. Alright Taj, let's kick this engine in the guts and get her on the road. Bit of a Chabasco scare last night, so at least tied down the solar panels. <laughs> Never know, do you? Anyway, we're in the Isle of San Francisco and we're pulling the anchor to go out to an island. My umbrella on. Panko covered Mahi. Thanks to the captain. Thanks, captain. Woo! Thanks to King Neptune. And thanks to Mum for cooking it. Ah, you're welcome. Look at this. We're motoring along. We're heading out to a little island called Cap. Uh, we don't know. The tree? Uh, Persida? Persida or something like that. No, that's the next one. Anyway, we're having our fish. So we are motoring along. We had the Isle, I think it's called Isle of Pardida. And to be honest, I thought it might be a little bit prettier than this. There's some rocks and the water's pretty brown, but I'm not gonna complain. There's some beautiful places in the Sea of Cortez. It's just the further north we get, the less they seem to be. Imagine how great Port of is gonna be. <laughs> Oh, the sunset's beautiful, darling. Good morning, everyone. Where we are at the moment, there is a sea lion colony about one nautic mile away. So Lee and I are gonna jump in the tender this morning, the dinghy, and go and see them. But before we go, I'm gonna make a mud water. Usually we have hot mud water, but it is really, really warm where we are in the Sea of Cortez right now. We're getting further and further north, and instead of having a hot mud water, I'm going to make Lee and I, a mud water smoothie. So what I'm gonna use to go into it is the OG mud water cacao chai blend to go into the smoothie. And I'm going to use a banana, coconut milk, and ice. Really simple, but really delicious. So this is what I prefer when it's kind of warm. So it is really warm out. 
So we're going to put a red in there. It's a little bit green at the bottom of it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So I haven't yet swam with seals. I don't know if I can swim with them today. The last spot that we were going to go, there's a seal colony down at one of the other islands where the water's like absolutely beautiful. But by the time we got there, it ended up being closed, for, like seasonally closed because apparently they have young this time of year and they're a little maybe unpredictable. So we didn't go there because we were like, oh, we'll just go there on the way back down. Anyway, we're at this spot now, and I was like, oh, let's go see them. And I don't know if we can swim with them or not, but we're I'm going to take all my gear with me anyway. Bless you! <laughs> Bless you. All right. We got our cold, yummy mud waters. Cheers, baby. <gasps> Cheers, baby. We're gonna go see the sea lions. So we're out here with a sea lion colony that is just off the island that we anchored last night. Uh, it smells really bad but they're so cute. They're so curious. They keep coming up to the dinghy and yeah, we don't know anything about sea lions and I'm pretty sure we can jump in usually. This is the guy who keeps popping his head up right next to us. Big fella looking after everyone. Yeah, he's, he's telling everybody, he's like, look out, there's a boat right here. But I don't know, I'm going to stick my head over and at least look at them under the water. I'm not sure if I can just jump in. We don't know. But it's so cool to see. We are not used to sea lions and this is like the closest other than what we saw in San Diego. Morning mud with the sea lions. I mean, how great is cruising? How great is boat life? Because every day is so different and today we are like hanging with sea lions, drinking our mud water in the Sea of Cortez, Mexico. It's absolutely beautiful here. Um, Guys, can you keep it down? Sarah's talking. Just trying to feel... Yeah, there they go. Go on. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed watching these fun little seals with us. Thank you for tuning in and thanks for watching our videos we love you guys and stay tuned for next week i don't know where we're going to be or what we're going to be doing uh, it's boat works coming up again oh. cheers guys <laughs> on that note that's pretty sad we've had an incredible few months though and we're we are excited to get out and get our boat in better shape but um, i really wish i could click the fast forward button on it but anyway we're gonna have a great time anyway we have a great time wherever we are don't we honey yep sure do Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye. Love ya. and kind of pushing all the other ones away. I don't know if it's just in my mind, but that's what he seems to be doing is like rounding them up so that they don't come near us. 
We don't want to go too. I don't want to go too close, and I don't want to upset anyone. So yeah. we're just. I'm happy just to see them under my head under the water. They're so cute. Oh, I can see them playing under the water. Just... How many seals, baby? There's so many seals. The sea lions. I don't know the difference. These are sea lions. Have there a is look. a really big one that just looking. He's just popping his head up. He's just keeping his eye on us. I think they'll be okay. They seem really friendly, except that guy. <laughs> that guy's all actually still with them. That was such a cool experience. What I think would be next level is actually scuba diving with them. Or going down and like sitting amongst them and letting them get more curious. I think they're nervous with me because I was kind of hanging around the boat and I was in really shallow water. But, oh my God. We're gonna come back and we're gonna hopefully have some scuba here when we come back into the Sea Cortez because we want to scuba dive and we really miss it. And to scuba dive with sea lions, is like on top of my bucket list. I really would like to have them coming around and playing all around me, so. Hopefully! <laughs> Bye, friends!